Hoppity Hooper's life hasn't been the same since Professor Waldo invented Cubald, the miracle hair restorer. Give me a bottle. Here, I'll take one. Uh, give me four of them. I want the large economy size. Look at that crowd of suckers. Uh, customers, Osgood, this stuff is selling like hotcakes. Yeah, well, sure. Who ever hated growing hair with hotcakes? Little wonder Cubald was so successful. For it actually did everything it was supposed to do. It not only grew hair on heads, but everywhere else. People used Cubald to repair shag rugs. They used it to turn T-shirts into Angora sweaters. One famous movie star even poured gallons of it on the ground in front of her home. Yes. Now I've got the only blonde lawn in Beverly Hills. Uh, what is your gardener? Think of that. Oh, what gardener? I use a hairdresser. Tell me, Miss Laboom, do you want your lawn parted on the side or with bangs? Uh, hey, Waldo, that's the last of this batch. I, I, I'm sorry, folks. That's all for the day. Oh, that's so I bad. Yes, one more. Oh, we better get back to ring it in spring and fill up some more bottles, Uncle Waldo. No, Hoppity. First, let me wallow about in all this scratch. Scratch? Moolah, my boy, get us happy cabbage. Uh, he means money, Hoppity. Oh, well, I'm glad you're so happy, Uncle Waldo. Well, there's only one little drawback, really. What's that? We made it honestly. Well, what's wrong with that? It's a new experience for me. Uh, when you've been a snake oil peddler, making an honest dollar seems like Cheating. Little did our friends know that they had made a bitter enemy, Cyrus Flugelhorn, the notorious millionaire miser, whose investments in wigs, toupees, and scalp wax were now practically worthless. You're my broker, Crudley. What's the outlook? Mr. Flugelhorn, if it's hair today, you're gone tomorrow. Drat and double drat. Lucky for me, I sent Windrip to pay those upstarts a little visit. But it's not one way, Windrip. Why, he's a thug, mean, depraved. It works cheap, too. He'll pulverize those idiots. But a man in your position can't do a thing like that. I know. That's why I sent Windrip. And at that very moment, the sinister Windrip was lurking outside Professor Waldo's caravan. Knocking over these three patches ought to be a lead pipe cinch. And I got just a lead pipe to do it. Skulking to the door of the trailer, Windrip prepared to do his dastardly deed. Somebody's at the door, Uncle Waldo. 83, 84. See who it is, Beauregard. Yeah, my name is Fillmore. Uh, well, well, both of you go, huh? 89, 90. Unfortunately for Windrip, he hadn't figured on the hardness of Fillmore's head. Uh, nope, nobody there, Waldo. But I'm sure I heard a knock. There it is again. All right, I'll see who it is. Who is it? He's right, Hoppity. There's nobody there. Yeah, and what's more, he left his hat. Let me see that, huh? Eh? Uh, according to the way I figure it, the man who owns this hat is six feet tall with a broken nose and a mean disposition. You found out all that from his hat? No, as a matter of fact, he's standing right behind you. Yikes! All right, you guys, line up against a trailer. He can't get us all. Let's make a run for it. On the other hand, I'm bound to get one of you. Uh, don't run, fellas. No, let's hop instead. What? Hop like this. What? Stand still, you little creep. Well, obviously, Gimbrick hadn't figured on our hero's agility. In a few seconds, his gun was empty and Hoppity was unscathed. I had a line to say here, but it was censored. Uh, gee, that was keen. They don't call me Hoppity for nothing, you know. You mean you charge for it? Well, it would seem that our troubles are over, Jasper. Uh, you said it, Waldo. Nothing to worry. Uh, Bunthorn, you forgot to set the brake, you addle pig, you numbskull. Uh, you drove it, Les. Uh, well, accidents will happen. Yes, and it looks as if one's about to happen to Hoppity, for he's trapped in the back of a driverless truck careening downhill to Hairpin Corner. <laughs> Makes you feel warm all over, doesn't it? Don't fail to see our next episode, How to Straighten a Hairpin. <laughs>